This is a review of Jetson or Nano Developer Kit. Uh, this is the latest uh, Jetson computer from NVIDIA. Let's take a look inside. So, here you can see the developer kit. Mm, this is the fan, uh, this is the module itself, and this is the developer board or carrier board. Uh, as you can see, it has uh, gigabit Ethernet, USB ports, and DVI port. From the other side, this is the Wi-Fi chip, and here is the slot for SSD. It's fairly similar to the older Xavier NX. As you can see, the port-wise are fairly similar. This one is missing a HDMI port. And from bottom, it's also very similar. This one has one additional M2 slot. Mm, but the rest is the same, only these camera uh, ports are kind of smaller than on the Xavier. Uh, since I uh, use this, this one, Xavier, for robotic applications, uh, I used it with SSD mm, and I find it very useful because if you have, for example, stereo camera like this uh, or depth camera, which generates a huge amounts of data, 3D data uh, mul on multiple topics when you're using ROS. Uh, the SSD card, the SD card is not uh, capable enough because like the write speeds, write and read speeds are like 100 megabytes per second. But these SSDs, I don't know if this one is Gen 4, but this might be older. But if we have, for example, like this one, this one is uh, Gen 4 SSD, and as you can see, like read speeds is like seven gigabytes, and write speeds are probably similar to that, but they are definitely like 30 to 50 times bigger than using SD card, so that's what we'll be using. And let's take a look at the, this part, which is just a power cable this is a barrel jack and the power cords for us and europe okay so in next steps we'll uh take take out this ssd put it into the put it into the m2 slot and then flash it up from another computer so let's open this SSD and uh, install it into the Jetson Oregano developer kit. So I honestly believe like these SSDs are not that much pricier than SD cards. Like this is one terabyte, and uh, when you are using it for robotic applications and you want to, for example, record huge amounts of data, then, then you need really write speeds similar to like, like this one. Uh, maybe, maybe it's overkill, but honestly, if you are spending this type of money for and developer kit, then you should just spend 100 bucks for SSD. So now SSD is in place and we'll flash it from another computer. Okay, now that we have SSD installed, we need to flash it with Ubuntu and Jetpack. So first, uh, we need to put it into force recovery mode. And to do this, we short two pins, which are 
ground. And this another pin that is next to it on the left side. Uh, we then connect the USB C cable, which will serve for transferring data from host to target. And then we power it. We select Jetson or in Nano. And then press continue, accept terms and condition, and then we already can unplug it. Continue. Wait for the password. Now we select manual setup. And use NVMe, and we can use Flash. Now, as you can see, the flashing is going on. So now we just need to wait a little bit. In meanwhile, we can connect the. monitor and also keyboards. I don't think that will have any negative effects. Okay, and I'll resume when the flashing is over. Okay, now uh, the SSD is flashed and we need to install other components so now we can actually log in we can see the oh. we can actually see that the ubuntu is running and We'll select IP4 and connection login. Then we can press install to continue. So while the other components are installing, we can actually see the Ubuntu. And this will also take a little bit of time. One thing, actually, I can show you. Uh, one thing that is really bothering me with uh, Hal Jetson is that to some people it might feel weird, but there isn't supported WebGL, like a browser acceleration, which to me is kind of like kind of mm, shitty. I, I don't understand it. So. And this is actually confirmed by uh, NVIDIA team. So if you search like NVIDIA for Jetson, let's just check it. And if you search for FGL, so yeah. So they, they just say like WebGL is currently not supported on Jetpack 5. It's like what? Like 
this isn't this isn't some small issue because like when you have a robot or something and you want to display some 3D renderings and they just say oh sorry it's not supported uh, that's quite a huge issue and a minus for me anyways so let's finish let's get back after we finish updating this but on the other hand this is it it just finished installing installing the components nothing interesting happens maybe I can show you the last thing the speed of SSD so if you go to disks and then benchmark disk I don't know if this was uh, to do while the flashing is still running, but we can see that it's the read is very fast, like two thousand and sixty megabytes per second, and access time is also super low and you couldn't get these speeds and access times with SD card so that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give a like to this video and if you have anything else like you want to ask just write the comment Thank you. Bye.